density of the, the moon as a whole, 3.34 grams per cubic centimeter. Well, what's interesting about that? Well, that's pretty low density. And in fact, that is roughly the density of a normal rock you would pick up on the surface of the earth. And the density of rocks, basaltic rocks, picked up on the surface of the moon. What this is implying is that the material forming the interior of the moon doesn't seem to be more dense than the material forming the surface of the moon. Now, how do you explain that? One could assume from that 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 implies that the moon as a whole is a homogeneous body. But then that raises difficulties in itself. You know, we're at the point of Apollo 11 convinced that there was really no water because they didn't see the hydrous minerals that one would expect to find. Uh, those that contained OH radicals uh, in the samples. Uh, so it was John W. Freeman Jr. and H. Kent Wells of Rice University in Houston that announced uh, what they believed uh, that they had detected water vapor on the moon using the suprathermal ion detector experiment. Uh, the SIDES, uh, or the, which is the acronym, S-I-D-E-S, -E have been quietly monitoring clouds in quotes of low energy ions during the lunar day and before sunrise and sunset. Okay, ions thought to have escaped from the Earth's magnetic bow shock wave and ions from man-made impacts, lunar landings and liftoffs. But then it was on March 7th that the instrument saw something unusual at the 14 site. Now, how do you explain that?